how how often are we seeing cases that uh you know we we really don't know how the person died or it's in question i have to believe that is a small percentage compared to seeing uh cases that are gunshot victims uh victims of of stabbings uh bludgeoning that seems to be more often uh but again even in the alex murdoch case th there was a forensic pathologist at the trial and i was even watching this i was trying to understand well why would they need a person like that a medical examiner to come in when we absolutely know the cause of death and i'm assuming that this is done uh very often in in criminal cases wh whether they're high profile or not correct well th that's correct that's the usual that is when somebody comes to trial mm -hmm. uh, in a murder case invariably in a, in a, in a murder case uh, like uh uh the murdoch uh the the uh there's an autopsy done two autopsies in that case that show a person died of uh, both of them of uh, rifle shotgun wounds. Um, it, should it come to trial, the, the prosecutor then decides they can find out who who uh, who done it. And in the the prosecutor has decided that in the Murdoch case that um, the, the Murdoch had killed his wife and daughter uh, and brought it to trial. In our system of justice. There has to be a defense, somebody, a lawyer, a defense attorney, uh, to make sure uh, that uh, a mistake isn't made or the, the degree of uh, of uh, guilt in, in guilt, whether it's uh, you know first degree, second degree, third degree, whether it's capital punishment or something like that, or less, uh, so that there has to be a uh, a, a defense uh, attorney who then gets uh, his or her experts. Like uh, including usually another medical examiner to uh, review what the official cause of death is. With the Murdoch case, uh, the uh, medical examiners brought in by the defense uh, agreed that it was a homicide, but disagreed for the direction of which the bullet, uh, the shotgun was uh, uh, held. Was the shotgun held close against the head, which is the defense expert said, or from a distance uh, across the arm? Now gotcha. that should make it so that's how they disagreed, and that would indicate if it if it was a, a close against the head, for example, the person who did it would have blood all over him because it's such a big understood. Big gotcha. About it, so there are issues that they could both agree on. Not always. Sometimes there are people accused of homicides that didn't occur. You know that that's just a mistake by the that the person who died of natural causes. It turned to be a homicide. Uh, uh, and that's an issue. But uh, more often than not, uh, the issue between the prosecution and defense is how guilty is the person, which has to do with the sentencing, uh, uh, the sentencing and all. Uh, but in, in, in the question about, uh, we have about one or two percent of deaths that we can't find a cause of death, that we don't know a cause of death. But those often are skeletonized bodies, for, for example, uh, that the cause of death, that death is not determined. But in the great majority, we. Uh, uh, we are going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, the great majority of of uh, the deaths, uh, uh, there's a uh, definite cause of death. Uh, but but when it comes to solving them, more than half the murders. I mean, there are about what 50, 40, 50 murders a day in the United States, uh, uh, and about uh, half of them uh, don't get solved. They they don't get. Uh, uh, nobody goes to jail. They don't. There's no. Uh, um, uh, 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 there's no person found guilty either by trial or by uh, 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 by um, uh, agreement between. Uh, but um, uh, and and uh, in in the situation with deaths during police encounters, uh, the police uh, they're not really carried as as regular homicides. They're usually they're exceptional uh, solving of the case because. Uh, uh, they're not found guilty. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.